Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Yes, I'm doing well, but the crypto market is in choppy mode, in choppy mode today. So my name is Mike Denkler and I'm bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, GFI gems every day to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice. So everything just for entertainment and education purposes only so guys please smash those like push the bell notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and i'm sharing my screen and let's check our favorite bubble chat and but um uh, all uh, all the coins are in red and most of them 10 and even 15 percent Cardano, Cardano is back 17%, Fanto 15, Luna 10, near 14, Link uh, 11, Rune 13, so almost all coins. Bitcoin is down 6%, Ethereum is down 8%, Ethereum is down to 3,800, so uh, the 4,000 uh, 4, levels just has broken. Binance coin down. So guys, this is uh this is a red day. This is a red day, but this is a good time to dollar cost averaging. And if you if you uh, if you are not full with crypto yet, uh, just you arrived on the market recently, then the best time to pick some cheap cheap coins. So let's check our favorite indicator, the crypto fear and greed. It's still sitting at 28, but it's a lagging indicator. It will be updated in five hours. I'm sure that it will go uh, maybe below 20. Please write in the comment section of what is what, uh, what how do you see that how far, uh, how far low will the crypto fear index go? So yesterday it was 27, but uh, uh, in the pre previous days it was also uh, at uh, 16. So now uh, somehow the crypto fear is bottoming out and maybe this is the final shakeout. And as it lasted uh, 10 weeks uh, uh, during the summer, maybe the recent will last um, four weeks at uh, the top also lasted four weeks. And you know, when uh, investors are getting so fearful, that's a good, that always provides a good buying opportunity when investors are, getting greedy that's you for a correction but we are not there yet hopefully we will be there so next piece of news is first piece of news monster bull move means wells could secure the next bitcoin price search so guys i just went through all the media but we have just bullish news <laughs> in this red day so this is <laughs> at least this is uh, good to make us happy sick btc price indicator favors bulls this is a 30-day moving uh, VMA, uh, yeah, so the kind of moving average. Strong bullish trends in the metric have preceded every strong bullish price trend of, of this bull, and it's just printed monster bull move. So this is um, also Bitcoin hold on exchanges are uh, just decreasing, and Bitcoin price. Fed pressure on BTC positions so far we still be careful until some uncertainties will be resolved so this is the bitcoin price and as you see this is the rhythm stable coin so stable coins are on a higher level and quantum rhythm stable coins so a uh, stable a lot of stable coins out there and they are waiting to pining in also quantitative easing uh, will be not stopped for now, and let's go forward. Only 10% of the Bitcoin supply left to mine. Okay, so total circulating Bitcoin almost, we will have another chart for this, almost 19 million uh, piece of Bitcoin, but uh, we will have a better chart for this. I'm closing this. Down. Bitcoin to flip bullish under one key circumstance, according to on-chain analyst Will Clementi. Bitcoin is below the short-term hodler cost basis, which currently sits at 53,000 US until this is reclaimed, not bullish. Not saying I am a giga bear, just cautions until the market shows 
me otherwise. Happy to flip bullish if reclaimed. Bearish confirmation would be a fair underside retest of the band. Yeah, so this is this is how it is. So on chain cost basis. So this is bearish, this is bullish. And now we are here to flip bearish or flip back to bullish. So this is the question. Illiquid supply has reserved nicely over the last week, showing the sub moving to entities with low spending behavior. If you are a bull, you would like to see and continue to curve out a regime of mixed negative similar to what's happened after September heading into October of last year. This would show uncertainty from perpetual trades. And if you theoretically saw funding muted as a price grinds up, would mean the market was uh, amidst a disbelief rally. T TLDR wanted to see Bitcoin BTC continue to consolidate and curve out the regime of mixed negative funding. Future perpetual funding rate is up now, but uh, it's just getting lower. And uh, what's this? So um, it's now a little bit in positive, but it, it went in negative. And uh, yeah, so nothing serious. Let's go to our next news. I think BTC is ready. Quote, five things to watch in Bitcoin this week. Same, same, but different. Oh, why? What's different? So 33,000 has been my line in the sand as well. Flip that and we are back in the business analyst. Phil Clemente uh, reiterated BTC Weekly about as much reason to be bearish here uh, as the was in late 2022, 2020 before the first major lag in my opinion. So let's check this closer. So this is, um, this was in 2020. And that was similar pattern and also similar RSI structure and similar stochastic RSI, RSI. So this is the 50 week simple moving average. And then it's also now we are sitting there. Okay. Patience is key according to plan B. <laughs> to taper or not to taper. This would mean the Fed wrapping up the program by the beginning of March leaving the Federal Reserve with 8.8 .8 trillion dollars of assets on its balance sheet, more than double its pre-pandemic January 2020 level. So this is the balance sheet of Fed. And you see insane amounts, so almost doubled. Analysts call Gardner Bitcoin is red. Suddenly, all of my favorite leading indicators are lining up long and strong. It's gone and flipped full bull. Full bull. So how huh? it flipped to full bull. This is the price. This is the total Bitcoin OTC desk balances and balances are increasing. So not too much Bitcoin on the OTC desk is. It doesn't lie. What's this? Go to indicator. Yes. Uh, okay. Bitcoin Tether Binance and this is a kind of volume by by side indicator okay hope it will push the price up bitcoin etfs uh, galvanize their reserves so uh, as bitcoin price is holding etfs are holding more and more bitcoin emotional roller coaster the crypto fear index that we already checked <clears throat> Yes. Okay, guys. So that's for this about this. And let's go to our next news. Okay. Analyst on why Ether looks prepared for next leg up after experiencing a seven months bear market. So, guys, I don't think that uh, it in several bears, uh, seven months bear market, but the price of Ether has been faltering following the dip from last month's uh, all time high. However, one analyst holds that the Ether market has been turbulent since May. According to the Pundit, the price Ether is now poised for a leg up. ETH has been in a bear market for six months at essentially, essentially the same price it was in May. The recent open interest and funding rates puke was the final capitulation of this bear 
market and it's prepared for the next leg up. So he thinks that we are in a seven months bear market, but I think uh, reaching an all time high cannot be a bear market. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's go to our next news. Analyst expects US to embrace crypto with proper regulation in 2022, sees refresh Bitcoin bull market. We expect the US to embrace cryptocurrencies in 2022 with, uh, with proper regulation and related bullish price implications. Bitcoin appears to be on a trajectory for 100,000 US dollars. A post corrected and refreshed bull market is how we see Bitcoin approaching 2022. So, yes, let's go into 2022 with this mindset. Galaxy Digital's Mike Novogratz bullish on Bitcoin names free tailwinds for lending leading crypto assets. Okay, so he's bullish on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and what else, what else, what else? Yes, I think people now have woken up that crypto is an asset class, that Bitcoin is part of a crypto portfolio, that even if the Fed starts acting more hawkish, it's an amazingly complicated plan to land for Powell and Yellen. All Fed chairmen are now political just based on the deficit. This idea of independent central banking is no now farce. And so Powell can act tough for a while because he just got reappointed. But if he starts doing things that put Biden's reelection at risk, you are going to hear something. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Criticizing uh, the monetary policy. But uh, I can understand why. So 90% of all 21 million uh, Bitcoin have not been mined. And I have a good chart, but this chart is on this uh, maybe Spanish. Uh, and this is how you see almost we are here and almost, uh, almost 19 million uh, Bitcoin is mined. And then... Uh, you see with uh, the red, uh, the lost BTC that we propose to be lost. And you see that in the next uh, few decades, just a, a million or two million Bitcoins will be mined. And also uh, we expect the, the increase of the lost Bitcoins. Analyst deflationary, deflationary forces presents an optimistic outlook for BTC ETH in 2022. Crypto's Fed and 2022 endgame renewed impetus from the Federal Reserve to take away the punch bowl and declining bond yields may yields may might point to a macroeconomic environment in 2022 that favors top cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, the report added. A primary force to reserve expectations for Federal Reserve tightening in 2022 is a drop in the stock market, which may be a bit of a win for Bitcoin. Fed tightening uh, dream, Bitcoin may tell. Okay. Bitcoin will face initial headwinds if the stock market drops, but the extent that declining equity prices pressure bond yields and incentivizes more central bank liquidity, the crypto may come out of a primary beneficiary. So this is this sounds good. This may be primary indicator of a transition back to more deflationary environment in 2022, favoring Bitcoin. Okay. Funds have been moving away from old analog gold and toward Bitcoin and Ethereum. The question for 2022 centers on reversal or acceleration of these flows with uh, bond yields in decline. Our bias is towards the later. Okay, past performance not indicates future gains. Crypto dollar polarification and advancing BGCI. Yeah. Next piece of news is don't sell Bitcoin on the cheap to sailor. Binance seizes wars as micro strategy uh, heightens accumulation spree. Okay. Chang Peng Zhao has warned investors not to sell their BTC to Michael Saylor in a state of panic. <laughs> but selling to who? Binance's CEO appeared to have taken note of Saylor's aggressive Bitcoin purchases during price dips. 
Uh, so that was some, some, some tweets on Twitter, so nothing serious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the news. And I think we have this. Can we even talk about NFTs, meta universes, and cryptocurrencies? Ken Rivers was interviewed by The Verge. Rivers shares his opinion about NFTs, meta universes, and cryptos. There are 100,000 NFTs created for the Matrix uh, Resurrection. Okay, can't we just prevent the metaverse from looking like the one in invented by Facebook? The very concept of metaverse is much older than the idea of meta. And the virtual world led by a big tech company looks more like a dystopia. Cool, sounds good. So guys, let's come and check uh, prices, uh, how Bitcoin is doing. So this uh, this is the daily chart of Bitcoin. You see, uh, after Saturday and Sunday, we have we just gave back all the gains, and now we are back to uh, forty-seven thousand ish region. Also, dominance, uh, Bitcoin dominance is going up a little bit as uh, altcoins are dumping harder than Bitcoin. So that is why Bitcoin dominance is just correcting back to 42. And that was uh, around 40 during the weekend. Let's check Ethereum. So Ethereum looks uh, not so well today. Dumped uh, to 3,800. And also it seems that wants to make a lower low in this uh, downward trending trend line it's not exactly a bull flag and, and it's even not a bu bullish wedge so it's a downward trending trend uh, channel so ethereum should break up from here and ethereum long started to increase after a long time so we see ethereum longs coming in good to see that yeah so all major altcoins are in red so not make not too much sense to look into because everything's looks really bad gala just broke out if uh, you um, made a trade then maybe yeah good to have a stop loss here because maybe it will be stopped out so guys this is for today yeah one thing just come and visit our farms on app uh, on this uh, app.corion.io you can farm and provide liquidity in Corion as bnb and Corion as busd pairs and also if you are holding ARC 20 version of Corionx, come to farm.corion.io and put a uh, liquidity on Uniswap in Corionx Ethereum pair and earn up to 330% APR. So guys, uh, great to be uh, have you here. Please smash those like, push the bell notification on, and see you tomorrow.